Well, hello there. It's Bruce Williams again, and today I have a very challenging gross image challenge for you from a bighorn sheep. Can you name the agent and name the disease that it causes? Okay, time's up. This is one of my very favorite pictures of all time taken many years ago at the Armed Forces Institute of Pathology. And essentially we're looking at a large straw containing a bunch of tubes. Now if that doesn't give it away, I'll give you some help. The straw around the outside is the carotid artery, one of a pair of large arteries providing arterial blood to the head and all the structures contained within. And the cross section of the small tubes which are packing the lumen of this artery, which normally should be filled with flowing blood, are cross sections of the helminth parasite Iliophora schneideri. It's a really amazing life cycle. Iliophora schneideri is a worm that usually lives in black-tailed deer. And in the black-tailed deer, it doesn't cause any problem. But it, when it gets into alternate hosts, like Rocky Mountain sheep or bighorn sheep or elk, it can cause a very devastating disease. Now, this worm is passed by horse flies or other tarbanid flies which bite the deer and pick up little tiny baby worms in the skin which they accidentally pass to the next hose that they bite. Hopefully it's a deer but sometimes it's one of these other ruminants. Those worms migrate around in the skin for a while and return to the carotid arteries as adults. These females, if there are enough to block the artery like they are here, will block the blood flow to the head. In sheep, it often causes something called big head due to swelling of the head or sore head due to the necrosis of the skin of the head. In elk, it may cause them to slough parts of their face like the nose or even the horns, or it may cause infarction of the optic nerves and other parts of the brain, resulting in something called clear-eyed blindness. An amazing parasite, an amazing disease, and one of my favorite images of all time. Hey, thanks for spending a couple minutes with me today, and I'll see you next time.